Behold, our second last video on Crown Zenith. This set has been one of my favourites, and we are down to the last two PCs that will ever be released for it. We have the shiny Zacian box today, and the shiny Z Zamazenta one, probably close in the future. Now, these come with 12 packs of your Crown Zenith, a shiny card, a figurine of the shiny, and a pin of the shiny. Now, we also get these sleeves. Both sets come with the same sleeves. They're kind of reminiscent of the ones you get for the tournament collections that have the border with the image in the middle. Not quite like the ones you get in the ATBs. Now, this will be quicker just to click this open. And here we have 12 packets of Crown Zenith. The little pin badge, which is quite nice. It sits up by itself. That's always a bonus. Our figurine, which is very light very very light i'll move these out of the way for now the sleeves that i was talking about as you can see they are very plain silver on the inside and they've got the big thick border that the tournament collection style has then we have our shiny v zam zation i was about to say zam it's not it's the one with the sword very nice i think this might be the last sword and shield promo i am um, i can't remember which one's lighter numbered but I don't think there's any other ones after this. But let's get cracked in. 12 packs to cut through. So let's see how pack number one treats us. There is your code card. That was the worst throw I've ever done. Well, we know it's a V-Star, so no guesses there. We have a Shaman, Crushing Hammer, Dusclops, Starly, Switch, Execute, Love Disc, and Moga, Tangela Reverse, <laughs> the ditto. I shan't shun a ditto. But first pack done and over with. Let's see how number two treats us. And your code card. And another V Star marker. Is every pack going to have a V Star marker? Ultra Ball, Friends in High Sweet. A Lost Vacuum, Chatot, Mr. Mime, Sunkern, Bidoof, Coughing, a Kyogre Reverse, and an Executor. Hmm. That was definitely a dud pack. So, can we get anything better with lucky number three? Now, I have been talking Crown Zenith up a lot. There's a code card. I will be very disappointed of my last four boxes are going to be, sorry, two boxes, are going to be duds. So we have an energy steel. I thought for, yeah, sure. Ultra Ball, Crushing Hammer, Luxio, Aron, Ryolu, Starly, Scyther, Emolga, the Caldeo card, which honestly is a very pretty card. Very nice. And a hop. I've seen enough hop through the Sword and Shield game. I don't need to see them in the card games. His signature also looks like a person shrugging. I presume he doesn't know how to write a signature then. Code card. A uh, dark. Nope. Friends in High Sweet, Carnivine, Lost Vacuum, Oddish, Salander, Energy Switch, Grubbin, Wooloo, uh, Energy Switch again, thank you, Pokemon, and a Luxury Non Hollow. Hmm. The duds are strong in this box tonight. Is this one of the cursed, like, Crown Zenith products where you just don't get much? Code card for you. I mean, we've got one so far, so something under our belt is better than nothing. A uh, Psychic Energy, forgot to guess. Rescue Carrier, Electric, Digging Jewel, Youngus, Cherubi, Execute, Rockruff, Purloin, the Deoxys V-Star. Wow. I love the Deoxys cards in this set. I think there's three of them, the V, the V, V Max, V Star. There we go. And a Tangrowth. Oh, we're pulling the Golian in galleries tonight, but none of the rare cards. It's just been hollow rares and non hollow rares so far. But that that's the beauty of the Golian gallery. It replaces a lot of the reverse cards. Code card for you. So, you know, you don't feel as down as much. It's a good set to end on, I reckon. Graveler, 
Pokemon Catcher, Pinkerton, Screlp, Helipotile, Wulu, Shinx, Pancham, Electric Reverse, and another Luxury Non Hollow. The only problem with going from this set to Scarlet and Violet is I feel like it set the top bar pretty high for Scarlet and Violet's pull rates, which I don't think have quite lived up to the expectation. But Crown Zenith was a really packed filled set. There's your code. I was hoping it would treat us that way tonight, but it doesn't look like it. Fire. No, nope. water. Trekking Shoes, Metang, Digging Jewel, Snow Run, Ponyard, Tangela, Baltoy, Meowth. Yeah, that's what I need. Perfect. The Electrovire, which kind of pairs up with the Magmar. No, Magmortar. That's the one with them in the cave. And another egg. Lots of eggs. But that was nice. That, that, that is a nice pull. Anything that gets counted off the list as a bonus, there's your code card. Because after this other box, that'll be dark. Um, the last time that opened Crown Zenith, so anything I'm missing, I'm just going to have to kind of buy. Dusclops, Metang, Energy Switch, Shinx, Mr. Mime, Sunkairn, Coughing, Oh, Bidoof, Yan Mega Reverse, and a Wailord non hollow. I'm being showered non hollows tonight. We've got three left to go. Perhaps my memories of Crown Zendeth are fonder than the reality. There's a code card. Let's go for fire. Hey, finally got one. How many packs has that been since I got a right guess? My goodness. Friends in High Sweet, Lost Vacuum, Luxio, Aron, Energy Search, Corfish, Scyther, Riolu, the Lapras, that is probably one of the best yellow borders um, from the Galarian Gallery. The very nice looking card, and who doesn't love Lapras? So our second last pack of Crown Zenith. Um, I'm hoping the next two packs are pulls. I will be feeling a bit better about it if they are. There's your code card. Oh, let's go for Psychic. Well, electric. Pinkerton, Great Ball, Bisharp, Purloin, Grubbin, Screlp, Helipetail, Wooloo. Oh, wow. Well, okay, we have a gumshoes there, but we got our ninth Radiant Charizard. My goodness. Um. Cool. I feel like these ones were a bit more common than they should have been. Uh, as far as the way I feel it, now I might have just got really lucky and managed to pull way too many of this single card, but I have a feeling that like the Radiant Charizard from Pokemon Go was a lot easy, uh, a lot harder to pull. This one has been a lot easier. Now that may be my perspective. And if you've opened a lot of Crown Zenith, let me know because I feel like I've pulled a lot of them and it's a wee bit too much to be a coincidence. There's your code card. Unless all my gold glaring gallery cards have been replaced by Radiant Charizards and I have just got incredibly unlucky. That'd be more befitting. Psychic. Trekking Shoes. Shaman. Friends in High Sweet. Yanma. Ponyard. Bidoof. Potion. Mr. Mime. Oh, the card I was talking about. There we go. Uh, that That is quite cool to pull in a single box, actually. So there you have them side by side. One in the field, one in there in a cave. Well, magma or lights of fire. Very nice. Oh, and the leafy on V. So I did say, as long as my last two packs were pulls as well, I'd feel better about it. And I do. I'm very happy getting those pair together. That's just a nice coincidence. I like that, just having them both in the one box. Kildeo is a lovely card. A Radiant Charizard is... I mean, they kind of all belong to me at this point. I presume I've pulled most of them from the set. Uh, Deoxys V-Star is a lovely card. And then the promo itself, part of like the Shiny Vault, which is kind of cool having something go into my Shiny Vault book. Like, Two years since Shining Fates launched, isn't it? I'd need to double check that. But that does wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like. If 
playing about subscribing, you should do that, and have a great day.